Have you renewed your Part 107 Certificate Knowledge with a course from the FAA? This is a must for all Part 107 remote pilots. If not, this video is exactly for you. Here I will cover all you need to know about taking this exam. The course is called Part 107 Small UAS Recurrent Non-61 Pilots. It is available for free from the FAA website. I left the link in the description. It is required if more than 24 months has passed since you took your initial exam on Part 107 or since taking your recurrent course like this one. In my case, I took my exam on Part 107 in June of 2022, so now, two years past, I had to take it again. And after I took it a few days ago, I will have to retake this course in June of 2026. The FAA recommends setting aside about two hours to go over all the required coursework. This coursework consists of mostly reading material, with quiz questions here and there. On average, it took me just a little bit over one hour to go over everything. The coursework is divided into two main sections with five modules in total. The first section is called Aircraft and Remote Pilot in Command Requirements. This section has two modules called Characteristics and Requirements for the SUAS and Remote Pilot in Command Responsibilities. The first module covers what the drone is, its weight and marking requirements. The second module covered various regulations aspects of what a remote pilot must do. The second section was the longest one, called Rules for Safe Operation of SUAS. It had the following three modules – Pre-Flight Considerations, Operating Rules, Abnormal and Emergency Operations. The second module on Operating Rules covered a lot of material. They were specific to operating drones at night and different categories of drones and how to operate them over people. If you took the exam in 2021 or after, likely you covered all this material that is in this coursework. For me, personally, it was like a rehash of everything that I learned then. Also in this section there was some material on controlled versus uncontrolled airspace and sectional charts. And as I was reading this material, I was like, oh no, they will repeat this over and over again here too. But then luckily no, it was just a quick reminder with some superficial questions here and there on controlled versus uncontrolled airspace. Once I completed my coursework, I was taken to answer exam questions. And there were 45 of them, and the FAA gives you 90 minutes to answer them. It took me about 10 to 15 minutes to answer them all. And you have to get 100% score on this exam. But no worries, the questions were very easy and I remember that some of them were very similar to what I've seen when I was studying for the actual Part 107 exam two years ago. What's more, the FAA allows you to look at the study material of the coursework. So if you're unsure about some certain questions, you can look them up in that coursework. I would say that I maybe hesitated about two, maybe three questions, but that's about it. On the first take, I got 100% score. But I guess if you don't get 100% score, the system will flag those incorrect questions for you. So you will have a chance to go back and answer them correctly until you get the perfect score. Once I completed the exam, I was able to print the certificate of completion for this course. As Part 107 drone pilots, we must always carry this certificate of completion for this course along with a Part 107 certificate card. As for the certificate card itself, the plastic one, it's not renewed, it stays the same. And that is it for this video, guys. I hope it helped you. If it did, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content on photography and travel. Thank you for watching.